any change in Elizabeth's condition? She's still unconscious. The nurse is with her. How about the lady? It's fine. They say it's not healthy for him to stay. But I just, I don't know what I'm supposed probably, to do. Probably what the doctor's saying. But for what it's worth, I think Elizabeth needs to have your son here. If she senses that he's not, she... She could slip away. What makes you think so? The same thing happened when Molly was born and Alexis just both stopped. Parents can sense their children's presence even if they're not consciously taking them in. Listen, you open to a suggestion. I guess so. You consult Dr. O'Donnell, okay? He's head of pediatrics here. He's a good man. He may be able to come up with a way for you to keep your child here and not jeopardize his emotional well-being. But even if they do make you take your son home, you do not lose hope. Okay? Elizabeth is going to get through this. She's got a lot to live for. You're still here? Uh... Yeah, Stone Cold is naturally craving updates on this little bundle, so thusly I remain. How is the baby? Well, he seems okay. Well, but according to Nurse Epiphany, he might not be for long unless he's sent home to bond with his family. Yeah, well, Lucky won't hear that, so he wants Elizabeth to wake up and have the baby here, so we need to make this as homey of an experience as possible for the baby. Ah, oh, with black leather onesies and a chrome No, the child is a Spencer, Spinelli. So the Spencers are going to rally and we're going to take turns holding the baby and telling him stories about the family that he's been born into. Light of my life, you know I hate disagreeing with you. But come on, the person that should be holding the baby right now is the real father. No, Spinelli, that boat sailed a long time ago. Don't worry, I will... Tell Jason all the reasons why the baby's going to be okay with this. I gave you my word that I would do what's, what's best for our child. And uh, now the doctors don't know when or if you're, you're going to wake up. Say something that's gonna ruin what you have, Lucky, but. But they're telling me our son needs to go home. What now? Uh, the Jackal begs permission to accompany the. The fair blonde one on her visit to the awesome baby known as Spencer. And they say too much time on the computer doesn't cause brain damage. Okay, with all due respect to your formidable security instincts, oh, I... Look, stop talking. I don't want to hear your mouth running. I don't want to look on the visitors list and see your name forged there again. I will allow you to accompany Miss Spencer while she visits her nephew, but... Her you... deepest gratitude. Stop talking. Or you can leave. Okay. Come on in. <laughs> Green small stone cold one. Ah, uh, you have a very special visitor. Yeah. Uh, she's she's supposed to be your aunt. But Okay, don't listen to Spinelli. He likes me means well, but he tends to talk too much. Look how little and perfect you are. Yeah. It doesn't matter how you label it. I'm in your life now. And I love you. Mm. 
and that's all that matters. <laughs> Our son needs you. You know, all this time, all these weeks and months, the only thing that ever made any sense to me was that no matter what else happened, our, our child would have you. So please, Ellis, please. Please, you have to wake up, please. Jason? When did you get here? No, I was just, you know, checking on Elizabeth and the baby. And, you know, the nurses are saying that the baby shouldn't stay in the nursery. With all due respect, that's not your business. You know, Lucky, it is my obligation to act in the baby's best interests.